Hey all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I'm Manjit Rao, your online instructor. This is another session of uh, Office 365. And in this class, in this session, I'm going to give you complete information about how you can add a custom domain from our domain provider to Office 365 account. Uh, guys, we talk about our previous session. So we already completed the task uh, related to the users management means how you can create a user over our Office 365 portal with the help of uh, admin center. But unfortunately, uh, in case of default user creation, whenever we create our user on uh, Office 365 portal, you know that your user should be connected with on Microsoft.com, right? So on Microsoft.com is a default Microsoft domain, uh, which is introduced Microsoft, which is not introduced your organization, right? So you know that whenever we start working with any organization, you know that uh, you will get a uh, mail ID which is associated with your organization name like as a abc at the rate xyz.com right which is not associated with the on microsoft.com so that's why this is really important topic because you if you really want to be expert in office 365 you should know about the basic activity or basic task of uh, uh, our user management so this is another session of user management and in this case, in this class, our agenda to understand about customize the domain with Office 365 portal. So what are the prerequisites? So in case of prerequisite, you must need to purchase at least one domain controller from any domain provider like as a godaddy.com or another domain provider which is available in the market. So in my case, what I did, uh, actually I have already purchased a domain from godaddy.com. This is my teachmecloud.in which is associated with website and cloudcuxa.in. Uh, so I just purchased it only for the testing purpose means I'm just going to assign our Office 365 user uh, associated with cloudcuxa.in. Clear? And in another uh, wizard, we have already opened our Office 365 panel. So let's try to understand about the procedure, how you can uh, associate or how you can add your custom domain to Office 365 portal. So what you need to do, you just need to open admin center, right? Uh, need to open our Office 365 portal that you created with the help of free trial account or payers, pay, pay, paid account like the paid licenses. And open your admin center and you know that uh, admin center is the backbone of our Office 365 management. So in this case, we are able to find one option setting. Click on the setting. First option is domain. Just need to click here. And uh, in case of if we talk about the default domain, so we have a on Microsoft.com, which is a default Microsoft domain. If you want to purchase directly from Microsoft, you can proceed with this option. If you have already purchased your domain from another provider, so just need to click on add domain. So we purchased our domain from godary.com and our domain name is cloudcuxa.in, right? So what you need to do, you just need to add and type the same domain name, cloudcuxa.in, correct? So this is our domain name and make sure uh, about just, just need to verify the spelling. You must need to use this correct spelling because uh, it will request you for the approval. Office 365 will request for, for the approval through uh, um, uh, the godaddy.com. Open the manage DNS, cloudcuxa.team. Okay, and before set up our domain with Office 365, portal you must need to remove the entire record i'm just going to remove the entire record because uh, it may be if your domain is associated with another azure active directory panel so it may be create a problem fine so we successfully removed the entire uh, domain uh, entire uh, record which is connected with our office uh, our domain back to the office 365 portal cloud in and click use this domain we just need to follow four to five different steps to configure our custom domain with office 365 portal add a txt record to the domain uh, so yes we need to proceed with a manual record configuration click continue it will give us a few records type like as uh, you need to configure txt this is the txt record which is verify the honor shipping so in case of txt you must need to proceed with that at the rate and about the ttl value is 3600 and this is the value for our ttl 
copy the value back to the godaddy.com portal click add select the txt widget and as we discussed you need to provide the name at the rate paste the value select the default ttl it's a 3600 which is considered as the default value click add record we successfully added txt record from office 365 portal to godaddy.com now you need to proceed with verification it will check the availability of your domain right the name that you are using for the custom domain it is available or not so we didn't detect okay no problem we just need to try it again because uh, before that our domain is associated with another portal that's why it just uh, give us error let's try one or two times fine it successfully approved yes the domain cloudcuxa.in is available and now next step you need to provide the owner shipping click continue not not owner shipping you need to provide the mx record and cname record which is a canonical name record which is responsible to provide the alias for any mail id this is mx record as per the name suggest mail exchanges and the mx record which is responsible to provide the mail communication right so just need to use the host name is at the rate point to the server cloudcaxa dot something and priority is zero and uh, ttl is default one hour i'm just going to copy this value back to the domain click add and this time you need to proceed with mx record again at the rate priority is zero paste the value that you copied and about the default TTL is one hour click add record we successfully shaped two different record let's check another record which is available so this is canonical name really important because by using this particular option we are able to create the alias of our domain so in case of host name is auto discover and point to the auto discover dot something and TTL is one hour record name is C name just copy it back to the godary.com portal and this time proceed with uh, C name select auto discover paste the value default TTL is one hour add the record we successfully configured three different record i think one more record also required txt although i think we have already configured but only for the uh, uh avail for the check the availability of your domain but in this case just need to proceed txt record again add the rate paste the value and let me verify the Okay, one hour is our default ETL. I think we successfully saved the entire record which is provided by Office 365. If everything is okay, just need to click continue. It will check the entire activity like as the owner shipping, name availability, and everything. If everything is fine, it will approve us. Your domain setup is completed, right? Now you are able to use your active user and you can create your user account and associate it with cloudcuxa.in. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a one user and uh, give you one diff uh, one uh, live practical how you can create your user associated with your custom domain. So already we have created a user with name of class, but I'm going to create a new user because we'll try to understand and we'll try to share our to send and receive the mail services as well. So username, I'm going to proceed with the name of uh, ABC, okay? And display name is also ABC. Username, I'm going to proceed with same ABC. About the password, I want to use my own password, right? I don't want to make it, uh, changes like as a required user to change password on first login not required because I'm just going to create it only because for the testing and the domain name which is associated with cloudcuxa.in the domain that we uh, added recently just need to click next yes I want to provide the license because I'm planning to share the uh, mail I am planning to send and receive the mail uh, through our domain click next next need to verify the 
uh, okay, Office 365 uh, F3, which is a free license, right? Finish. We successfully created, this is our password. I'm just going to copy the username, uh, abc at the rate cloudcoxer.in. Copy the username, open in incognito wizard. Once we add our domain controller, we are able to create our user account associated with a, your own domain. So I hope you all of you understand about the concept of uh, custom domain user adding. So if you have any question or doubt, please let me know. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.